Good morning. This morning we are going to celebrate this Eucharistic celebration as Thanksgiving Mass for the Silver Jubilee of Cheesy Newsletter Magazine. And also let us pray for the success of the CRCM meeting. You are going to start today, I think. So for this meeting also we said pray for the success. And also let us remember in our prayer for the departed soul of our beloved Holy Father, Pope Benedict the Sistine. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have been in my thoughts and in my words, in our time and time, in our time to my fault, to my fault, to my most serious fault, and I will ask the testimony of the virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. Mighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on our peace to people of the world, we praise you, we bless you, we love you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, for all of our family, 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 for all Almighty God, you called Saint John and you men to do a life of service, zeal, and compassion for the guidance of your people in the new world. By his prayers, help us to build up the community of the church through our dedication to the Christian education of youth and through the witness of our brotherly love. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book, a reading from the letter of St. John, First letter of St. John, chapter 3, verses 11 to 23. This is the message, as you heard it from the beginning, that we are to love one another. 
not to be like Cain, who belonged to the evil one, and cut his brother's throat. Cut his brother's throat simply for this reason, that his own life was evil, and his brother lived a good life. You must not be surprised, brothers, when the world hates you. You have passed out of that and into life. And of this, we can be sure, because we love our brothers. If you refuse to love, you must remain dead. To hate your brothers is to be a murderer. And murderers, as you know, do, do not have eternal life in them. This has taught us love, that he give up his life for us, and we too ought to give up our lives for our brothers. If a man who was rich enough in this world's goods saw that one of his brothers was in need, but closed his heart to him, how could the love of God be living in him? My children, all there is not to be just words or mere talk, but something real and active. Only by this can we be certain that we are children of the truth and be able to quieten our conscience in his presence. Whatever accusations it may raise against us, because God is greater than our conscience, and he knows everything. My dear people, if we cannot be condemned out by our own conscience, we need not be afraid in God's presence. This is the word of the Lord. Responsory son, the response. Let all the earth cry out to God to be joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. The response. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that he, the Lord is God. He makes us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. The response. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his coast with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. The response. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. The response.
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip. And Jesus said to him, Follow me. Now, Philip was from Bethsaida, the town of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, the son of Joseph, from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will see the sky opened and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord. Jesus said to Philip, follow me. The joy that comes from following Jesus is the force that moves and moves the hearts and the minds of so many women and men to give their lives so that the world may know true joy, true freedom, and true love. With these words, we wish to remember this Holy Mass of Emeritus Benedict XVI whose funeral will be celebrated in the Vatican this morning. The 25th anniversary of King's Magazine give us the occasion to thank the Lord for the abundant fruit of blessing of your work during these past 25 years. His Magazine was born from the desire to share church news, vocational and motivating stories, general knowledge, and religious news with the general leaders. Father Victor Bernard and Sister Christopher, together with the other on the then leading team of CRCM, chose the name keys, which would be a triangular brass gong struck by the Buddhists after their prayer to share their life experiences with all those who heard the gong. The gong. Today's liturgy is propitious to help us understand the importance of good communication. Because unlike a few decades ago, today there are so many means of ways of communicating and very often there is so much confusion and superficiality. Thinking of the present situation of the world, we can imagine that the magic would have difficulty today in reaching Jesus for those who promise recipes for happiness, justice, and peace in exchange for making us slaves to their interest. But as 2,000 years ago, we are not left alone. The Lord guides and accompanies, accompanies us. Therefore, the priority is not to do something, but to communicate something true and beautiful that gives hope. 
they are helped to discover the true sense of life. From this perspective, one can perceive the true identity of this magazine, which is not just <clears throat> any magazine, but a missionary magazine. We are called to be missionaries of the gospel. When we receive good news, or when we experience beautiful moments, we naturally seek to share them with others. The missionary spirit that animates communication aims to remind and to help our brothers and sisters in faith that the joy of the gospel fills the hearts and lives all, all who encounter Jesus. Those who accept his offer of salvation are set free from sin, sorrow, inner emptiness and loneliness. With Christ, joy is constantly born anew. Remember Father Pope Francis in the Apostolic Exhortation Evangelic Audium. Let us reflect on the first invitation come from Jesus himself. The two disciples heard who he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, where are you staying? Where are you staying? He said to them, Come and you will see. Jesus' invitation is contagious because it changes lives. So to our witness, when it is authentic, it is contagious because its sole purpose is to communicate the joy of the Lord. The concrete sign that we have truly encountered Jesus is the joy that we show in communicating it to others. This was the experience of the first disciples. After their, visiting, after their first encounter with Jesus, Andrew went immediately to tell his brother Peter. Andrew, he first found his own brother Simon and told him, we have found the Messiah. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Shephas. And Philip did the same with Nathanael. Philip met, 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 meets Nathanael and immediately communicates about Jesus to him. We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law and also the prophet. The encounter with Jesus transforms us, making us artisans of peace and unity among brothers and sisters, keeping and communicating the importance of unity is another important task of your magazine in order to help God's holy people. On occasion of the Mass with the Myanmar community law, on May 2021, Pope Francis invited to pray for the unity that men alone cannot achieve. Prayer leads us to trust in God even in times of difficulty. It helps us to hope when things seem hopeless and it sustains us in our every struggle. Let us recall the angels' words to Mary after the announcement. For nothing will be impossible for God. Finally, I would like to conclude with Pope Francis' prayer shared with the Catholic community of Myanmar in Rome. I wish to lay upon the Lord's altar the sufferings of this, his people and to join you in praying that God will convert all hearts to peace. Jesus' prayer help us keep the faith, even in times of difficulty, to be builders of unity and to risk our lives for the truth of the gospel. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, please do not lose hope. Even today, Jesus is interceding before the Father. He stands before the Father in his prayer. In this prayer, Jesus intercedes for all of us, praying that the Father will keep us
from the evil one and set us free from evil's power. We remember in our prayer to offer, to offer our lives for the truth of the gospel, Jesus Christ. May the Blessed Virgin Mary accompany us with the motherly protection on our journey on following Christ. O God, who called the Bishop St. John Newman, renounced for his charity and pastoral service to shepherd your people in America, grant by his intercession that as we foster the Christian education of youth and are strengthened by the witness of brotherly love, we may constantly increase the family of your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him the holy exchange that restores our life has shown forth to be in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive an ending of honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy, we proclaim Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, our host, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is your house in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in it, Holy o Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. <laughs> the me giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and then bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis Apple, Cardinal Charles, Bishop Noel, and Bishop Morris, our celebrant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the life of your face. Have mercy on our soul, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have this you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you.
to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the serious command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on the earth. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who go to the supper of the Lamb.
Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> Refreshed by our participation in the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, we ask, O Lord, that by the example of St. John Newman, we may experience the power of this sacrament and remain constantly in the church by the bonds of unity and truth. We ask this 
through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of the CRCN, I want to take this opportunity to extend a warm welcome and gratitude to His Excellency Bishop Maurice Nyobre and Monsignor Andrea Ferrande. It is immense pleasure for us that you joined our event and did us the honor. Your presence gives us a sense of unity and Universal Church. I also thank all the invited priests and religious and all the past and present JC Magazine in church. Thank you for your presence. And I especially want to thank Sister Benedetta Nyamin Nue. She is the president in charge of the JC website and also the organizer of this event. I really appreciate for the, all the effort, enthusiasm, and dedication. During the process of preparation for this occasion, many persons have helped her. And now I want to invite her to come and say for the family. First of all, we give thanks to God in celebrating the Thanksgiving Mass. Special thanks for dear our Monsignor and dear President for your good sign during this Thanksgiving Mass. Kima Jamaro, the Jesus Jane Jane, you will miss Hadaya Kana. Good to join your below, Chingy Bivaro, Molanga Kao, Siaro G, Siaro Morris, New Report, which is the Mare, you join a Jesus Jimmy, the Chingo Legends, the Ghost of Happy Bare, and with the team as with the book of Punchin. To sell a Jesus Beach Mare, the Happy Dutch Bare. ยาเราอาจจะมารู้เวลาเฉลี่ยตัวตัวที่ชิ้นนี้ปีละบุญเนี่ยตัวที่ยานี้ละที่ไปเนาะยาเราบอกที่ชิ้นนี้มาเลย
ไอ้ตามขาที่กันตามขาที่มาทําเนี่ยมีมีมีเพจนําเรามาฟังตอนแรกนะคุณมาฟังตอนแรกเอ่อพอพูดคุยกันเจอเลยอ่าจริงๆ
ตัวเตะมาเลยตัวเตะอีกทีนี้เนี่ยสมัยปรุงมีที่มาจัดการเนาะสร้างบุญเลยคุยปักโกไปเลยสมัยเรียนทรัสเชอร์ซีอาร์
Tengado, let's have a bar of Ponyar Medu, say a pivot of Sedi, or let to a Jesuit Mare, Alan Mo Jesuit Mare, Jesuit Munami, or Pokia Mikel of Ujisi, or let you see the job your Chinese, you go to a bar. And it's going peace to love and serve the Lord. Oh, 